When her neighbour invited my wife and I to, I to join her on a visit to the Bardylands annual show near Billericay, I thought, well, we might as well. It's something different, and it will make a nice change. So off we all went, and I'm very glad we did, because it's the best steam and craft fair I have ever seen. Are in place because I've got one here in PA control, which was handed in a while ago. It's picked up somewhere around near the craft. There was so much going on. I've never seen so many steamrollers and tractors all in one go. They even had a parade of them. about then that I bumped into Ivor and David, two really great characters. 2,000 spars a day. I'm Ivor Coomber from Green Street Green at Darren. Mm. My friend here is David, who yeah. we've been pals for since 1950, or 52 in fact, and we meet each year at the North Kent Power Match. I'm Dave Ludlow from Wilmington in Dartford, and as my friend has just pointed out, we meet each year for ploughing matches and shows and uh, we've been friends for many years and we come over here and it's a thoroughly enjoyable day out. Way back in 1950s with the show up horses. We worked there right up until the 1960s until they started to get mechanised in. There weren't any horses on the farm when we went there. A little old Bristol tractor was the only machining, wasn't it? That's right, yeah. 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 Everything was done with shire horses. And at one time, we worked, there was 20 horses in one field, ploughing yeah, uh, drilling right. corn yeah. when I was yeah. there. Yeah. I left there in 1952 to take up second horseman's job with the Dartford and Gravesham Health Authority at the time on their farm. And I stayed there with them farm inside until they sold it for 21 years then I went on the garden inside and had another 20 years which I've only just retired from there I'm thoroughly enjoying it and, this and our main hobby is ploughing matches steam rallies and any country crafts it was well, we formed a wagoners association with a crowd of all ex old wagoners and uh, as I'm the only one left who ploughed in the North Kent ploughing match, my friend Ivan next to me, he presented this to me for ploughing in it since 1957, which is a great achievement. And I'm very proud of the stick, it goes to all the shows and matches with me. But all, all the old balance ploughs and the run round ploughs and all the history of David ploughing in the North Kent ploughing match. Aye aye, that's the way to travel. Now where's that tree? Yes, and they even had a real gypsy caravan. There was also plenty to eat, with a good variety of food. That's right fellas, I paid for that one.
the crafts of yesterday. And these men are showing us how it was done in those days long ago. Vintage car time. What can one say? We all have our favourites, and there's stacks of nostalgia here. This is John Cullen, the owner of this beautiful Austin Swallow. It's a 1929 Austin Swallow, well bought, uh, only one previous owner who's still with us, thankfully, he's 88 years of age. But the car came from Wales in a very poor condition and took five years to restore. Um, Swallows were the first car that the William Lyons ever built, and so therefore you're looking at the forerunner of Jaguar cars. This particular one is the 12th oldest survivor. It uh, goes quite well, it returns sort of somewhere about 50 miles to the gallon. We drove it here today, a journey of about 30 miles, which took roughly an hour. The colour schemes are original and everything on the car is original. It's still got its original engine, gearbox, back axle, and it's as it would have been supplied new in 1929. What do you reckon the old, um, well, yeah, it's in good nick, isn't it? Yeah. As you can see, the children are well catered for, with drinks and ice creams, hamburgers galore, plus lots of happy music. These beautiful Shire horses, how willingly they work and how gentle they are. Pull in the ploughs and the rakes. There's not a tractor that could do better. Well, folks, it's time now for me to say goodbye. The steam engines are resting and the show is nearly over. But I'll be back again next year, that's for sure. Cheerio.